Hey horror fans, thanks for joining me for this review of The World We Knew. Cast and crew information down below, and let's see what this IMDb plot says to start. After a job goes wrong, six armed robbers must spend a single night at a deserted safe house, but during their stay, past come back to haunt them. What is real and what is the product of their tormented minds? Alright. Uh, you know, sometimes these IMDb summaries kind of don't really help you out here, but I, I think that one uh, kind of sums it up pretty well here. And uh, I'm be, you know, you know, honest off the start you know, and jump right into it. Um, you know, as this one kind of goes on, this one uh, doesn't kind of play out kind of like my my type of film, but that doesn't mean I necessarily didn't like it. Um, you know, you know, I. I I struggle a lot with, with slow burns if you've uh, caught any of my reviews and I think that that's the first one you first thing that you'll, you'll notice about this as you start watching this um, you know you, th you think of it as, as they presented it there a bunch of robbers and, and it's gone wrong so you're thinking oh well you know there's there's some room for a whole bunch of excitement in there um, but it, it's more of, of the aftermath and um, uh, and and that's where this story kind of picks up. So you don't really get into that all of whatever whatever it is that, that just happened. Um, you know, there's a little chaos to start. You, you know, you have a, a group of men here, and um, you know, as the audience is kind of trying to figure out, you know, who is who. Um, really, so are they. And, and I think you know that's part of the story here, really, and and, and part of why it is that slow build. It's it's slow burn. It's, you know, as you, the audience, is learning who these people are, they're really learning who themselves are and, you know, who each other are. Um, you know, you would think of it, you know, they kind of paint the pictures of a, of a gang. You would think they would uh, been a little bit more coordinated or know each other, but, but not really. Um, and the, that lack of trust is going to kind of come back through it. Um, that lack of knowledge between them is, is gonna is gonna get them. Um, but really, what you have here is is, is this very simple setting. You know, they're they're basically in this one house, um, about six different guys. Um, one of them has shot a cop. One of them is injured, and uh, doesn't look you know the highest of hopes of, of surviving. Um, so there's lots going on here, and then you know they're hiding, and the cops are out looking for them, and so forth. And uh, so they're all here, and they're all you know very different individuals here, and, and some you know have have issues, some are strong-willed, some just like to talk, some <laughs> might be a little bit crazy. You know, they, they each have their thing going on here, and um, you know you're gonna get. The chance to kind of go around the room and, and kind of meet them all and see them interact with each other and um, as you kind of get sucked into that and, and, uh, and a lot of you know the back and forth and, in, and getting in with these these characters there's something else slowly building in this house and uh, you know that that's the thing as horror fans that you're kind of waiting for here and uh, but it, it just, it's not bad. I mean, it's not bad to have that, you know, it's a very tense film. You know, the, the, the characters are all tense. You, you know, you can see it building in them, you know, some from more than others. Um, part of the slow burn process here. Um, but there is something else going on here. And it slowly creeps in. And the film takes a great, great patience in kind of introducing that. And, uh, you know, leaves a lot for the audience to think of. You know, it's it's like, where where does this, whatever this else feeling in this house is coming from? Um, when is it going to take its mark? Is that really what's going on here? Is that really why these guys are slowly kind of unraveling, or at least some of them? Um, it, you know, is it kind of toying with their minds? Where where have these guys kind of ended up? You know, what is it that that's happening in this house? Um, so it kind of it's gonna take its time before you know, um, 
you know, kind of, it's not huge action, but before, but before a, a little bit of stuff kind of picks up. Um, so you're going to have to wait for it, and you're going to have to be patient for it. Um, but but what that leads to is, is you know, some, some really good performances here. Um, you know, I'm not going to call them out one by one here, but, but I think, you know, all the men, you know, have their job to do here and they do it, do it very well. Um, you know, some of them are, are, some of them have to do a little bit more of, of the physical stuff. There's, there's one or two, um, but a lot of it is in the lines and delivering the lines and really kind of, um, you know, giving you, you know, kind of staying in the mood, staying in that tension and, and kind of giving you only, you know, what you need to know from the characters. And you probably don't even, are never going to get to know everything you want to know. Um, it's almost like, you know, I'm not going to say it's an incomplete film, but it's just one of those movies that, that's going to leave you, might leave some people, you know, saying, oh, I wanted to know a little bit more about that character or this character. And, uh, you know, like I said, you, you're going to learn probably something a little bit more about some than others, um, you know, and, and that's just kind of the way it goes here. Um, but, you know, I, I think, you know, that's just, I, this is just a, a film that just relies a lot on, on, on the acting and, and them being able to um, deliver their lines in the way their characters should. And then obviously the setting is, it's a, it's a you know, it's going to be, you know, it's nighttime and, it, and it's, there's just a creepy background to it. So, you know, I, I'm not going to give away what happens at the end, but, you know, there is a supernatural feel here. There is a presence and, um, you know, you, you're probably going to be left wanting to know a little bit more about what that's all about as well. So, um, yeah, I, I guess those are the, 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 the most important things I can say about this one. I guess this was a, a, a film festival for Blu-ray release, so... Um, that's kind of what, what is happening with this one and, and why I bring this one up. Um, so I recently got a chance to see it. So, you know, it's not huge spoilers, but I'm not sure if, if you didn't see it in the festival round, if you had seen it before. So, um, the thing here and, and so forth. I think slow burn, but it's going to keep your attention. You're going to be kind of glued to these guys and, and what they're doing, what, what what's happening here. Um, but again, you know, it, it's, it's not going to probably leave you with a solid conclusion to anything here. You're probably going to want to know a little bit more uh, about somebody or something here by the time this one ends. Um, again, I, I don't want to give away any of the, the what happens at the end um, or what happens to eventually the, the, these guys here. So you, you'll just have to, to kind of catch that, that yourself. Um, so with that, I'm going to give it kind of 2.5 pools of blood, you know, down, down the middle. Um, you know, uh, I'm more of the, the blood and guts, so there's a moment or two that that's okay, but it never, you know, it's not, it's not, not the kind of film here. And, um, but I, but I can certainly appreciate the performance and appreciate the setting and they definitely do a, a great job with the tension and, and, and the build of everything and, and kind of. And they stick to it. Sometimes it's hard to, to kind of stick to, you know, you start that slow burn and you, you have that uh, tendency sometimes to kind of want to speed it up at the end. But I, I think they, they kept it per, pretty measured and pretty um, straight uh, until the end. It's definitely, definitely an interesting film and, and um, maybe something a little bit different if you, if you kind of want to slow it down and, and kind of get into some characters and try to kind of see what you can figure out about them before, um, you know, the, the, the bad stuff really happens. So again, that, that's 2.5 pools of blood for this one. And horrorsgoyreviews.blogspot.com is where you can catch um, all of my reviews, the written room ones and uh, the video ones like this one is posted there as well. But you can always easily hit the subscribe button and uh, catch all the video reviews, sometimes coming out. Uh, quicker than they land on the on the blog, so you get them uh, a little little bit in advance. Sometimes more than than not. Uh, but if you're looking for the written reviews, there there are plenty of them going going back. Uh, Twitter, Facebook information down below. If you want to reach out, talk about this one, horror, anything else in general uh, about horror, 
and uh, comment section as well if you want to comment on this video comment on this movie just comment in general uh, please feel free to do so down there as well so uh, with that you know it is again the world we knew and uh, yeah there's lots of worlds we knew <laughs> But I guess with that, we're on to the next next uh, review, horror fans. Catch you later.